Hey guys, it's Daniela. Happy holidays. Today I want to show you my Lighten Up Eggnog recipe. So it's a healthy upgrade to a holiday classic and I made this eggnog last weekend at my holiday survival party and people loved it. So I'm making it again tonight and I thought why not show you the process. So for starters, instead of using heavy cream or regular milk, I'm using a combination of organic coconut milk and almond milk. So I use them in a 2 to 1 ratio. I've got 2 cups of coconut milk and 1 cup of almond milk in here. So I'm using the full fat coconut milk, which gives you a nice creamy eggnog. You could also use a light coconut milk or half and half. So I've got those two on my stove here. Um, they've just been on the lowest heat. I don't want it to come to a boil, so I really keep it on low heat, whisk them together to get the clumps out. And now I move on to my eggs. So for this recipe, I need four egg yolks. So you can see here, I've got three of them already separated. I want to show you real quick a, my favorite trick for separating out the yolks. So no fancy tools required. I've got a plastic water bottle here. You squeeze it down, maybe you've seen this trick before, and then it sucks it up. So I can, you can see here I've got just the yolk ready to go in here. So that's my trick for the egg yolks. Usually after I make this I use the egg whites to make a egg white scramble. So I'm going to whisk my egg, you can see here, slowly into my almond and coconut milk mixture. So you want to pour it nice and slow in. You don't want to bring the temperature too high because you don't want to cook the eggs and make scrambled eggs. So once you've got all that egg in there, let that whisk. And next up, we want to add some sweetness to it. So, whisk that a little more. And I'm going to add maple syrup and vanilla extract. Again, I'm not using any sugar. Maple syrup is obviously sweet, but when you use a nice pure maple syrup, um, it's a lot better for you than a processed sugar. So I've got a quarter cup measured in here of maple syrup. Pour this in. And then I'm going to grab my vanilla extract. I'll whisk that in just a second. First, I'm going to measure out two teaspoons of vanilla. Okay. I was a little generous there. So, I'm going to keep whisking. You can see it takes on that nice, rich color. I like my eggnog on the more vanilla sweet side, so you can always scale back the vanilla extract if you want it more plain. Finally, the last two ingredients are cinnamon and nutmeg. So I'm going to do a teaspoon and a half of cinnamon. So I kind of eyeball it. There we go. And just a little bit of nutmeg. Nutmeg's really strong, so you don't want to go overboard there. And whisk it again. All right. So basically your eggnog's ready. What I'm going to do from here Finish mixing it a little more and pop it in the fridge. You need it to chill for about three hours for it to really get that nice cold temperature. Um, so I'll come back in a second with my chilled eggnog. So my eggnog has chilled for just about three hours. Um, I like to chill it in the blender in the fridge so I can take it out and give it a quick blend to really incorporate all the cinnamon and get it nice and frothy before I pour it. So I am ready to serve it. Um, pour a glass. And I like to garnish with a cinnamon stick. And if you're really feeling festive, um, you can spike it with some rum. I didn't spike this one today, but I probably will for the party later. So enjoy your eggnog. It's a wonderful festive holiday drink that all of your guests will be able to enjoy, regardless of any dairy allergies or lactose intolerance. Um, and have a wonderful holiday. I will see you guys soon. Cheers.